open google com and type download git in google com and here we can see the first link provided by git scm click on that and here click on windows we are installing git for windows now there is 32 bit and 64 bit we can click on 64 bit since our laptop configuration is that the download is getting started now if you if you can go to uh, if you go to the command prompt type cmd and here if you type git hyphen hyphen version now we will be getting this thing git is not recognized because we haven't installed it yet we are just downloading it the download is on progress and if you go down we can see there is a read the book right so if you click on that we can read the git commands and all we can learn git commands so our download is completed now and we can go to the folder double okay we can go to the folder double click on it and click on next you don't want to read these things and all. you can click on next then again next now here we can check this box and also if you want the git icon on desktop you can click that also and after completing that yeah everything looks good we can click on next then if you want yeah we can click on next next all these things are just default only so click on next 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 yeah next 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 and here we can see a new feature is there automatically run a built-in file system watch click on that or check that box there's a new feature and yep we are done click on install so we have we are now going to install the git in our windows local system yep the download is completed now we don't want to read the release note if you want to launch git we can click on that checkbox click on finish yes this is our git bash window now here we can type any git commands actually so if i am typing git log see oh since this is not a repository we, are, we will not get any answer or we can type um, git hyphen hyphen version here see we are getting the version 2.41 that is the version we have downloaded now we can go to command prompt and here also we can check what is the version git hyphen hyphen version and see the git version is there now i'll show you a simple example suppose if you want to clone some repository from github to our local system so i'm creating a new folder i'm naming a default name project now inside this folder i need to paste a folder from github so i'm going to the github okay now here we can see a code click on that then we will get a link copy the link now minimize it now we are inside the folder right click then show more option click on that then we can see open git bash here now type here git clone then if you want to copy paste the link control shift and insert so the link is there now click on enter see we are getting all the files so we got the repository in our local system from github so we will be learning all these git commands in the coming tutorials